this was one of my childhood uh, hobbies, and after I got divorced, I, I started to indulge in a lot of them. I decided to make a, uh, an HO scale railroad, but I didn't want it to be just your average railroad, so the section you see here, I recreated a lot of the scenes from the old Universal Frankenstein Dracula Wolfman movies, and you can see individual individual scenes recreated here. The little girl who gets drowned by the monster, the uh, the festival of the new wine going on from Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, the castle, the watchtower, all that stuff. You just keep looking. Somebody's robbing a grave. See the corpse in the uh, in the wagon? And, uh, building the bride. There's a female corpse in there, as you can you can tell. And then uh, over here on the right, this is the Lost World. And, uh, I, you know, it's up on a plateau with dinosaurs. I have a, a tar pit here that I actually took a tin can and I scooped out some tar, tar pit, little braided tar pits to make my tar pit authentic. Then over here is the kind of traditional railroad area, you know, except it's under attack by Godzilla and Ultraman is over in the back there ready to uh, save the day. <laughs> first movie, Dinosaur Valley Girls, and uh, I wore it in that film. There was a scene where the Allosaurus rips the cave girl's top off, and she insisted that it would be a closed set, and I could be one of the only people on the set, so I was the one who got drafted into being the Allosaurus in that scene. It was a fun scene to do, actually. It's starting to fall apart now. It's getting kind of old. All my dinosaurs work for scale in my films. Latest to be featured in uh, Blood Scarab, which is the latest movie we did. This was made by John Beekler, who did a lot of. Oh, he directed, uh, I think, one of the Freddy movies, one of the Friday the 13th movies, those troll movies. He's done a lot of things. He just did a recently did a, a remake of Dr. Je Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So this is Horseship Soot the Mummy. This is a big poster from the uh, serial Adam Man vs. Superman that was made by Columbia Pictures in 1950. I was real lucky because when I was living in Chicago in the early 1960s, we found a place in Tennessee that you could buy posters like this for very little money. I got this poster for $1.45. And all these posters you see on the wall from Batman and Captain Marvel and Captain America and Superman, I got these all for about 50 cents a piece. Um, back in uh, the early 1960s. They sent us so much stuff that we actually sent most of it back because we couldn't afford the, the $20 or whatever invoice they sent. So all these I got many years ago. Now they're worth, of course, a fortune. And uh, it didn't cost me very much at all. film actors, most of whom are dead now, but they're uh, all over the house, and this is the room I have with most of my universal uh, stars photos, like Glenn Strange and Boris Karloff and Lon Chaney Jr. and John Carradine and Nelson Lanchester, Vincent Price, Ben Rathbone, and yada, 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 etc., 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 and uh, I'm running out of wall space. That's the only problem. So This is my wall of autograph photos of famous TV horror hosts. Now you notice there's a blank spot over there. That blank spot is waiting for Carlos Borloff's autograph photo to go. So that's where it, that's where that's going to go. Well, this Ghost of Frankenstein original one sheet poster, uh, I bought that about uh, 40 years ago for two dollars. Frankenstein, which was based on the 1950s comic book series, was done by Roger Dickens, who built the chestburster in the original Alien movie and did all the special effects in The Land of Time Forgot. I'm proud to say is my Demolished Building Award that I, I got at uh, G-Fest when I was the, the, the guest uh, in uh, 2007 at G-Fest, and they gave me that, and I'm very proud to have that. And then that same year, I won the Rondo Award, um, and uh, so that was my big year for... Uh, I guess we're winning awards. This is a cast of an Allosaurus skull, which is the, 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 basically the T-Rex of the Jurassic period. Um, this is a, a sculpture of a Lystrosaurus, which is a little reptile that was discovered on several different continents, which uh, proved that uh, was one of the elements of proving the theory of uh, plate tectonics, that the continents were all together at one. A copy of one of the Waterhouse Hawkins 
uh, iguanodons that were made in the early 1800s. That's the way they thought dinosaurs looked back then. That was based on tooth and a couple of bones and mostly imagination. That painting up there was done by Jim Danforth, a special effects uh, stop motion animator. Uh, this is done by Scott Shaw, a famous cartoonist. This is done by Bill Stout, uh, a very a famous artist. And then the one below it was done by my friend Pete Von Schale for our, di our first Dinosaur Tracks album. And Pete and I are like music partners. We do a lot of, a lot of projects together, including playing rock and roll. Well, this art here was done, all this art here was done by uh, Charles R. Knight, who from the late 1800s till the middle 1950s when he died was considered the top illustrator of prehistoric life. Now that painting is one of my most prized and probably valuable possessions. It was done by uh, Archibald M. Willard, who was very famous for doing the Spirit of 76, the three guys in the Revolutionary War, one's holding a flag, one's playing a drum, and one's playing a, uh, a fight. Uh, but he also did this painting in the early 1830s. This is, as far as I can determine, the very first painting ever done in North America of dinosaurs, or any Mesozoic reptiles for that matter. It's also on the list of his missing artworks. So I have a real prize here, and I, I won't tell you what I paid for it. Uh, so this is historically important on several levels, but to me it's also the pride of ownership having this. This is a cast of a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. When I got this, this was um, the biggest complete skull of a T-Rex that had ever been found. Now there's been several that have been larger. Here is a cast of the brain. So look at the difference between this brain and the size of the head. So uh, you can imagine how smart these guys were. <laughs> mechanical things that you see here move, moving around are, uh, were part of a, an attraction at the 1933 Chicago World Fair. You went into a big dome, and there's a mock-up over there. Uh, you you uh, went into this dome, and you were on a moving sidewalk, and it took you, took you past all these mechanical creatures, which in 1933 were considered state-of-the-art. So these are the forerunners to uh, the things you see at Disneyland and you know, museum exhibits and everything today. And the reason for the gorilla head was because the, the fair was in 1933 and that was the year King Kong came out. So they were trying to capitalize on the gorilla on uh, King Kong. These two bears were giant cave bears from the Ice Age. And these were again part of that uh, exhibit from the World's Fair. The exhibit was called the world a million years ago, and it toured all over after that 1933 World's Fair. It appeared at the 1939 World's Fair, and then it played all kinds of events over up until the uh, 1970s. Here's some of the stuff I've written. All this stuff over here. I mean, some of these I only have, you know, a chapter of stories in. And then over here, these are all my bound TV scripts, mostly animated shows, you know, like the Transformers and Spider-Man and his amazing friends. I wrote all these things down here. All three levels. <laughs> there's bound comic books, there's everything. And then in here, these are all the movies I made and documentaries and things that I wrote or appeared in or whatever. Over here are all my magazine articles that I wrote all bound together. The computer's kind of old already, but you know, it gets the job done. Everybody's always saying my computer is a dinosaur, but it gets fine for me, you know. And um, this is where it all happened.